Hello everyone, welcome to jobskillshare.org. This video is before the course introduction video. This is not an actual introduction video, but this is the introduction video that we explain to our members why are we doing this course and why are we creating this course basically. This course is about a CCM system integration professional so by the end of this course and uh, we want people to know about SCCM and anything that they come across if there's a job or something like an entry level SCCM system engineer or something like that or they have an opportunity in their company to move towards SCCM side then um, they should have a very strong hands-on uh, course uh, that basically that is kind of our idea that if you finish this you should have these skills now SCCM System System Center Configuration Manager SCCM, also known as Config Manager, and it is also formally the formal name is SMS, which is System Management Server. Um, it's basically a Microsoft developed product, so um, it's it has basically you have to have a Microsoft uh, you know domain controller and uh, other products like SQL Server running to make this work. And you can see it can manage uh, a lot of computers. I mean, it can manage from 10,000 to 50,000 to even more than that. Uh, a very um, strong product for deploying softwares, images, uh, stuff like that that you have already done. So this is not an entry level course. We will not discuss about domain controller terms, SQL Server terms, things like that. We will not discuss it because we have done some of it like entry level stuff in our help desk course. So if you are confused about me saying deploying software, deploying patches, things like that, then make sure you take the help desk course which is available on jobskillshare.org, the front page, the top course which is right here. You want to make sure you take that before this course. Now you can take this course if you already know and you can catch up with these terms. Fine, we don't have any limitations on that. This course is basically a specific skill and well, the reason we are doing this is that what, when we when we talk about this product, when we do all the hands-on things, you can actually go and apply this somewhere. Like, you know, you can actually change your career towards a CCM because there are actually jobs that provide very good, um, you know, income. And also, if you love this type of things, you know, managing computers and things like that from management systems, then this could be a really good product for you to kind of... Um, um, make yourself good in this area by deploying deployments and all that area so in description we put that it's a hands-on course and will prepare you for SCCM role uh, including implementation deployment in an environment which consists of many users desktop workstation laptops and servers many mean it could be in thousands or it could be hundred uh, medium sized businesses have usually 400 300 people and they still use this stuff um, and that's what our goal is going to be but what is a realistic goal like you know what are we trying to achieve from this goal um, and this is where we put this little tab right here the SCCM related job so if you go to indeed.com and you click on um, this and you take you just type SCCM you can see it's only system center related job and that's why we love doing these type of courses because then it gives people opportunity uh, to do these type of work outside and that is going to be our goal now we, we're not claiming that we are going to um, you know show you a, a person that have six years of experience in SCCM and you're gonna have equivalent uh, experience the, as person who is working hands-on that's not that's totally not true we are going to do our best to kind of uh, show you the real world scenarios related to SCCM. So this could be one of your project as a system administrator or as a help desk specialist, IT support specialist, anyone, and that you, it, maybe you're doing implementation with SCCM and stuff like that. So it will give you a very, very good hands-on experience when you do these uh, when you take these courses and take these videos and some labs may be required and you will show you some labs um, and how to get those labs and stuff like that so that is going to be our goal but if you come to the job area you can see how many jobs how many jobs are there just from SCCM system integration engineer you can see right there fifty dollar an hour and SCCM system engineer administrator SCCM engineer system center I mean it's specific like they're asking a specific uh, skill so if you kind of go through this and maybe you work on a project with some company about SCCM and they come across something like this that look we are looking for a specific guy that can um, manage our SCCM and that have 10,000 
desktops or users or whatever um, and you might have a really good chance because now you have something that you can go and tell them that I have an interest I took this course and I have done all this so the job could be yours I mean you can see there three days ago they just put this job SCCM system administrator that is what we're talking about when we uh, do a course on a specific product our goal is to what you can achieve from this product we just don't want to do just product and it's the courses right there yes sometimes we do it f to relate to another course or relate to another skill but SCCM is kind of you know for everyone and here you can see systems admin and they requires you supporting the SCCM so it's not a specific SCCM job but they still requires SCCM so there's another good um, um, way for you to put this on your resume when you finish this course and you know you play around with SCCM you can just say I have done something on SCCM and you know a lot about SCCM because you have done projects and things like that and that can make your resume and in an interview especially when you talk to an IT person and he's taking your interview and if you tell them you know a, a lot about SCCM uh, you have a very good chances if you're applying for entry-level system admin positions stuff like that okay so that is kind of our goal uh, what we are going to uh, achieve from this call as you guys can see it is not available right now for you to just take this course because it's coming soon we are going to be putting a live you know things that we want to show over here is just basically real hands-on um, uh, uh, videos and things like that we're not going to do what is a CCM we're not going to do PowerPoints and this platform is a little bit different than that we don't do book related stuff we just do job related stuff exactly what you are going to be doing at work if you if I was going to hire you tomorrow for SCCM and you took this course then that's what we are showing you that this is how you are going to be doing things just to give you an example this is an SCCM real world SCCM 2007 running right now it's currently live and it's managing all these Windows 7 servers and um, other things packages and here's the computers here are update sections and all this is running right now and one of our project is to basically uh, upgrade this to a new SCCM which is a 2012 uh, one R2 uh, and there's a more more R2 SP1 but there is actually a 2016 technical preview out now so in our uh, uh, course our goal is going to be to show you something you know on a 2007 like basic stuff but we're going to be focusing on the new stuff it's going to be implementing everything from scratch so what we're going to show you is exactly how we are going to build everything this is a basically a cloud instance is from Google and we're going to build SCCM 2014 domain controller clients SQL server and that is it is going to give you a really good hands-on experience if you're a system admin because now you're touching SQL server there are going to be errors you have a SQL server running separate machine you need to work on the permissions you need to work on the firewall uh, to make this thing work and that is really good experience for you guys because if you if you if you do things or if you watch videos like this it gives you a different level of experience it is like you're working exactly as a system engineer and what they come across I mean nothing is just you know so smooth in this job in any IT job that you you know a lot of a lot of the things that you see on on a training they have already done the practice and they will show you uh, everything A B C D but the thing is that uh, when it when it comes to a little bit book related stuff it's kinda like a perfection you know they have done it so many times that they will give you a perfect um, you know solution what we are going to do we are going to implement solutions and and we are going to come across some live errors live errors I mean like you know, we're going to record the errors that you can see if the error came up how did we fix it what did we do what permission did we change where did we do our mistake I mean no engineer is like uh, you know they're not born with the skills trust me no one is like that in IT they work they go through this stuff so many times that at the end they remember where the mistake is and how they fix it is basically in their head that's where the experience is but if you show you this and if you're a brand new person to this technology and kinda like a system admin side or SCCM then you have a very good you know your confidence level will be really good um, I mean our main goal is for you to learn this stuff and get a job 
or you can uh, you can make your job easier or you can come and much become more better and better so you can come and teach in our platform so that is going to be our goal we have um, a full lab ready right here uh, other things you're going to learn from this is a domain controller how to add things and stuff and this is not going to be entry level so like again we're not going to show you when we talk about domain controller we're not going to go through domain controller again we have done that in our help desk courses so if you if if you think that you're just watching this video for the first time and you can you know you don't understand these terms I strongly suggest you to go back and take the help this course or any other entry level courses over here because that is going to help you with the advanced courses that we are starting right now so that was our introduction video for the SCCM systems integration professional introduction before the course there's actually an introduction video coming soon which is going to be right here under SCCM course introduction and that is where we are going to show you the cloud and how we set up things from scratch so you can follow along if you are also doing these uh, labs hands-on thank you for watching I'll see you guys in the video